Jules, it's your girl Caribbean Jewel, and I'm back again with another video. I wanted to talk about um, this topic. If you've seen the title, I'm sure a lot of you probably are offended, and so be it. Hear what I have to say first before you get offended and listen to the terms. The reason why I said what I said when, in this title is because I feel like after the day I watched this movie called I watched this movie called Love Love and Basketball. And then I previously earlier in the week I also watched Love Jones. And thinking about it, it felt so good to watch this movie, Love and, and Basketball today, and Love Jones earlier in the week. It felt so good. I saw the love between black people. And I thought about it. Oh my gosh. Now today you don't even see black love anymore. You don't see movies featuring black love. Why do we as a society, as a black, as the black people, as a black community, put ourselves out there uh, to be showed up as if we are nothing, we have no love, we only have hate, we're always fighting on social media, um, that's all we good for. Um, there's a lot we can blame our history for as well. And the reason why I say there's a lot of hate in this world because a lot of our young people, a lot of kids today don't know what love is, don't know how to show love because they were never taught or never shown love. They were never shown how to love. How are you to love if you, how are you to, if you can't love yourself, how are you to love someone else? And so this is why there's so much hate. We blame other people as well for our hate, but also we have to blame ourselves. We in, we encourage it. We allow things to happen. And when you think about it, when you see um, social media today, everybody's winding up and everything. Yes, dancing was a way to freedom back in the day. And when you see people fighting on, on, on the internet and stuff, black people fighting in particular, mostly you see more black people fighting than any other race when you see this this is the white man making money from your uh, and putting mo you're putting money in their pockets and you're to blame for that you can't blame them oh they were thinking smart they were like okay let me put her there and let me make some money when you look at the reality shows no one is loving look at love and hip-hop look at um basketball wise all of these no one is showing everybody's showing drama all the black people are showing drama 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 there's an, i don't even remember or recall any like true love on these shows type of shows and this is what our young people are should be um seeing thinking about it growing up have i ever seen now think about it have i ever seen um love amongst the people in my community around me not really not often no no that was pretty rare and you know when you're growing up you're not really thinking about this type of stuff and and everything you're just thinking about happy having fun enjoying life and being happy and playing and whatever and being loved but some in a lot of cases a lot of kids are not loved a lot uh, loved a lot of black kids are not loved um i also blame our ancestors for some of the things that we go through for example if you see the slaves when we were um as we're in different countries like you see a lot of black people in in the bahamas and the caribbean um we are dominant today yes we are dominant today in our country but who was to blame for us to be sent there yes the white man was to be blamed yes we can't only blame them we have to blame ourselves our people also sold us out they were sellouts. They were trying to make a little money. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to make a little money. However, y'all was trading gold and whatever back in the day. Think about it. They also sold us out. It's being selfish. Being selfish. Not even caring. And this is what I'm talking about when I, said, when I say there's not a lot of love. There's, we don't even hold each other down. We don't even hold, uplift each other. Not hold each other down. We ain't trying to hold people back. We don't uplift each other enough. We don't, there's so much talent. We are giving it away to the other races. They are taking it and putting a twist on it and saying, calling it their own. 
and we are like crying oh this person do that no could you blame them no i can't blame them for doing it for taking whatever they took is is it disturbing yes it's annoying yes it is we allow it instead of putting our names on it we allow it then we cry you can't cry for something something water water can't do nothing little tears can't do nothing i love like i said watching this movie made me feel so good and i'm like why isn't this being displayed enough in today on the movies have you seen a lot of movies of love lately be honest tell me i lie tyler perry this cheating arguments fighting this one throwing this and all of this nothing is positive but it shows the struggle it shows the truth but it doesn't really show the love where's the love and when i'm around the chinese people here thank goodness i don't get as much racism as other people do but the people that i'm around they don't see color they don't even notice that i'm black they treat me like family and i am blessed in this way the children they treat me like this and when i think about it when you watch chinese when you watch asians when you look at the white people especially asians they are very hush hush about it when there's a high rate of divorce here in, in china you won't even know somebody is getting divorced or someone got a divorce because they keep their business to themselves when it comes to being a couple couple become one that's that's what i was taught you keep your business your relationship to yourself you don't t let everybody in when you're looking at youtube and all these you famous youtubers that you love right now and some of them getting a divorce on social media you're seeing it it's heartbreaking sometimes you even wonder if it's even the media that even broke them up even the people the influencers that the the, the viewers that even caused this because we're like have us we want to have a say so we're so sensitive this generation is very sensitive we're very sensitive about every little thing that's being put out there somebody say this we feel bad something somebody do this we, we we cry about it like so sensitive about every little thing that's being put out there when you when you don't even know the, how to stand up or let it or, or or just leave it alone and just sometimes you don't fight for every little thing argue for every little thing some things could be simply simply solved we need more love in the black community we really do some of us don't even know how to love how to have a relationship even me to think about it i could throw i can give someone all my whole heart and they give me nothing back because they don't know how to love me back or they just and they end up breaking my heart and i don't know how to love again this is how this this is the cycle that we are creating we need to talk some sense into our people you could get mad at me all you want i don't care i'm telling speaking the facts we have to get mad at our own people as well the hatred we need to change our mentality think about think outside the box and look view things differently and you'll see what's really happening beyond your eyes you can see it it's not only the other races i don't want to see say see race this is your brother. This white person is your brother. This Asian person is your brother, your sister, whatever. But unfortunately, we are, we are forced to see race. Think about it. Share this video out. If somebody needs to hear this, share this video out. You know I'm speaking facts.